Hello everyone and welcome to this another video on CISSP exam. Today in this video we will be discussing about the highly coveted certification that is CISSP and we'll also cover everything you need to know about the certification including its scope, requirements and salary. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel and click the bell button to never miss out any updates from us. Also, if you want to learn more about CISSP or wish to enroll for CISSP certification and training course, then please see the link in the description below. Now let's quickly dive in. Before entering into the scope requirements and salary, let us have a quick overview on what is CISSP certification. CISSP stands for Certified Information System Security Professional, which is globally recognized certification in the field of cybersecurity. It is offered by International Information System Security Certification Consortium, which is also known as ISC Square. Well, this certification validates an individual's expertise in designing, implementing, and managing a comprehensive cybersecurity program. It covers a broad range of cybersecurity domains that includes security and risk management, asset security, security engineering, and many more. But why is it so highly valued in the cybersecurity industry? Let us know how. Well, the importance of CISSP certification in the industry can be understood through following ways. First is demonstrative expertise. As I said before, CISSP certification demonstrate an individual's expertise in the cybersecurity field. Employers recognize CISSP certification as a credential that verifies your skills and knowledge in the industry. CISSP certification is also recognized globally as a standard of excellence in the cybersecurity industry. It is accepted by governments, military organizations, and many private companies worldwide. If we talk in terms of career advancement, then this certification can lead to a better career opportunities and higher salaries. Employers value professionals who hold CISSP certification and are more likely to offer them leadership positions and with better paychecks. CISSP certification also provides access to professional networks of cybersecurity experts who hold the same certification. This network can be a valuable resource for sharing knowledge and staying up to date with industry trends. CISSP certification is also aligned with industry standards and best practices, making it an essential credential for cybersecurity professionals. The domains covered in this certification exam reflects the most critical areas of cybersecurity, making it a comprehensive certification. At the whole, CISSP is quite crucial in the cybersecurity as it validates the individual's expertise and is widely recognized across the world. Now let us understand how the CISSP exam is designed and how much does it cost. Well, the CISSP exam is a computer-based test that consists of 250 multiple choice questions. The exam is administered for over six hours and is designed to test the candidate's knowledge across eight different domains of cybersecurity, which includes security and risk management, asset security, security engineering, communication and network security, identity and access management, security assessment and testing, security operations, software development security. These are the eight domains that are covered in the CISSP exams. This exam uses a scaled scoring system and candidates must achieve a minimum score of 700 out of 1000 to pass this exam. This exam is available in several languages including English, French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese and Chinese. Now let's come to the cost of this exam. The cost of the CISSP exam varies depending on the location and the exam provider. Well, in the countries like United States and India, the cost of the exam is approximately $699 for IEC Square members and $899 for non-members. As I said, in other countries, the cost may vary based on the exchange rates and the local pricing policy. It is also essential to note that the cost of the exam does not include any training or study materials which candidates may need to prepare for the exam. There are many online resources, study materials and boot camps which are available to help candidates prepare for the CISSP exam. So this was the whole overview of CISSP certification. 
Now let us understand what is the scope of CISSP certification. As we discussed before, CISSP certification is widely recognized in the field of information security and can open up many career opportunities for professionals who hold this certification. Some of the major job roles suitable for CISSP certified professionals are Chief Information Security Officer, Information Security Manager, IT Security Consultant, Security Architect, Security Analyst, Security System Engineer, Network Security Engineer, Cyber Security Analyst, Security Auditor, and Penetration Tester. Well, these job roles require deep understanding of information security and a strong knowledge of the concepts covered in the CISSP domain. And this certification provides a comprehensive understanding of information security principles and practices, making it a valuable asset for professionals looking to advance their career in this field. Now, how CISSP certification help professional in the career? CISSP certification is valuable asset for professional in this particular field. So, the CISSP certification help professionals in their career in following ways. First is enhanced credibility. As the certification is globally recognized and respected in the field of information security, it demonstrates that a professional has a deep understanding of information security and has met rigorous standards to achieve certification. CISSP certification can open a new job opportunities and accelerate your career growth. Many employers require or prefer candidates with CISSP certification for information security related roles. CISSP certification is also associated with higher salaries in the field of information security. According to the survey conducted by IC Square, CISSP certified professionals earn on an average of 25% more than the non-certified peers. If we talk on network building, then this certification provides opportunities to network with other professionals in the field of information security. This can lead to new job opportunities, collaborations, and a sharing knowledge and best practices. This certification requires continuing of education and ongoing professional development. This helps professionals to stay updated with the latest trends and best practices in information security and maintain their expertise. Overall, it is valuable investment for professionals in the field of information security. Now, what are the requirements for CISSP certification? Well, to become a certified CISSP, you must meet certain requirements, such as the experience. You must at least have five years of experience in two or more of the eight domains of the CISSP common body of knowledge. Well, if you do not have the required experience, you can still take up the exam and become an associate of ISC Square. You must also have four years of college degree or an equivalent credential. Well, here also, if you do not have any college degree, you can still qualify for the certification by having an additional year of experience. You must pass the CISSP certification exam as it consists of 250 multiple choice questions and you have only 6 hours to complete it. You must also follow the code of ethics provided by the ISC Square. Now once you have got the certification, it is also necessary to know that you must need to renew the certification after a given span of time. The CISSP certification is valid for three years from the date of certification. In order to maintain the certification, you must renew their certification every three years by meeting continuing professional education requirements. Well, it has certain process that you must follow. So to renew the CISSP certification, you must earn minimum of 120 CPE credit over the three years of certification cycle. The CPE credit can be earned by attending conferences, participating in training programs, writing articles or books, or other activities related to information security. Now, once you have earned the required CPE credit, you must then submit the CPE credits through ISC Square CPE portal. The CPE credits must be submitted by the certification expiration date. You will also have to pay a renewal fee to renew the CISSP certification. Note that the renewal fee varies by the origin. 
You can also renew your certification by passing the CISSP exam. That means you can choose to retake the CISSP exam to renew this certification. Well, this option is available up to the six months before the expiration date. It is important to note that CPE credits must be earned in at least two of the eight CISSP domains and minimum 20 CPE credit must be earned each year of the certification cycle. So in order to maintain this certification, you must earn and submit minimum 120 CPE credits over the three years of certification cycle. Well, we all get certifications in order to get higher salary and good job roles. Now let us see how much can we earn by getting the CISSP certification. Well, the average CISSP salary in India can vary depending on the factors such as experience, job roles, industry, and location. According to the recent survey conducted by Payskill, the average CISSP salary in India is around 22.38 lakhs per annum. That ranges from 7.8 lakhs to 47.2 lakhs per annum, depending on the factors mentioned previously. It is important to note that these figures are indicative and may vary based on the individual circumstances and the job market conditions. Whereas in USA, the average CISSP salary is approximately around 135,000 US dollars per annum. That ranges from 73,000 US dollars to 208,000 US dollars per annum. As I said before, several factors can affect the salary of CISSP, which includes the experience. That means experienced CISSP professional typically earns higher salary than those with less experience. Now let us look at the salaries based on the different job roles in the industry. The CISSP salary can vary depending on the job role within the industry. Here are some of the average salary ranges of different CISSP job roles in the industry, such as security analyst. The average CISSP salary of security analyst in USA is around 95,000 USD per year, whereas in India, it is around 11,70,000 per annum. The security consultant can almost earn around on an average of 120,000 US dollars per year, whereas in India, this job role can earn around 18.7 lakh per annum. If you talk about the security manager, then their average salary in USA is around 130,000 US dollars per annum. Whereas in India, they can earn around 25 lakhs per annum. Last but not the least is the chief information security officer. In US, their average salary rate is around 200,000 US dollars per annum. In India, they can earn around 36 lakhs per annum. Last is the information security manager. In USA, their average salary is around 140,000 US dollars per annum. And in India, they can earn on an average of 21.4 lakhs per annum. Well, it is also important to note that these salary ranges are indicative and can vary based on individual circumstances and job market conditions. It can also be varied based on the specific industry sector in which the CISSP professional is employed. So this was all from my end. I hope you liked this session. I hope by now many of you must have decided to enroll for this certification. If so, then we have some more videos related to CISSP certification. Do check out to those videos to help you excel in the CISSP certification. If you have any doubts, then please leave your comments down in the comment section below. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!